All right, let's go into the bridge for just a second and address trolls. Not address them as in I'm going to give them some sort of talking to. I'm going to do a reading. Now, in my opinion, this is my opinion. Trolling is just a desperate need for attention. I often say jealousy is rooted in something in your life being missing. You don't know how to get it. You don't know where it is. You see it in somebody else and you want it and now you feel bad. Even though you don't know the journey it took them to actually get whatever it is you think you want. You're jealous of a person who can sing and you can't sing or you're jealous of a person who is rich because you're not rich or you know that kind of thing. But trolling is a bit different. Let's take for instance when we were doing the live stream and someone got in the live stream and said um, something to the effect of calling the Tarot Uno cards, I think, something, something along that lines. Now mind you, that's easy to ignore. I am very unbothered when it comes to them type of things. Even the woman who did the whole cotton reference in the Franklin Graham um, reading, like that doesn't bother me. Like when people, it's, it's kind of like I equate it to, I walk everywhere from time to time. This doesn't happen often, thank God, but from time to time. I'm walking down the street and the car that's about to pass me, someone leans out the side of the car and screams, or, yeah, you know, whatever. They want attention. I pay them no never mind because it doesn't bother me. The reason it doesn't bother me is because I know what you want. You want attention. Go look in the mirror. That person staring back at you will not stop looking at you until you stop looking at them. That's all the attention you're going to get. Let them stare at you all day long. You stare at them, they'll stare at you. I am not the person to feed you attention. I can't do it. There's something in me that doesn't allow me to do it. Because I know what you want and I'm not giving it to you because I feel as though it's childish. That you would scream out the window when you're in a car with people that you could talk to. Give them the attention and then they'll give you attention back. But you feel as though there's something in your life that you don't have that you feel the need to try to yell out the window to annoy me to get a reaction out of me because you feed off of that. You need therapy. And I don't even say that lightly. That's not a joke. That's for real. You need actual therapy because there is something missing that you feel annoying another person will fulfill. When the person came in about the UNO card comment, you want attention and you are unfulfilled in your real life. Therefore, you feel as though annoying me will fulfill you. You need therapy. I won't call you mentally ill just yet, but you do need actual psychological analysis. You need to sit across from a person and explain to them what you just did and then maybe they can uncover why it is that you're doing that. Because I don't believe it is just inherent for you to be an annoying person or a mean and spiteful and nasty person. There is something in you unfulfilled, whether it's your spirit, whether it's your life, your job, your relationships, your money, your whatever it is. It is unfulfilled. Therefore, you seek other people's attention to fulfill it. Now, when I was like 14-ish, somewhere around in there, early middle school days, like eight, sixth, seventh, eighth grade. I used to sit in the class. I spoke very quickly. I, I, I still kind of, I still do that from time to time, but I spoke very quickly. And so 
that would get people's attention. And then I would say horrible, nasty things about people on the other side of the room, and then everybody would laugh. Now, there was a loneliness inside that was fulfilled only briefly by other people laughing at the ridiculous, despicable things I would say about other people. And so when a person comes in the room and they're starved for attention because their life is unfulfilled, I'm not giving you that energy. You have to go to therapy. I'm not your therapist. You're going to have to go to therapy. There's something wrong with you. Something wrong with people who see my videos on religious people, whether it's Franklin Graham or the Clark sisters, T.D. Jakes, whoever, and feel the need to call me the devil because I'm doing something they don't understand. There's something wrong with you. All you have to do, well, you don't have to, but all you should do, click on the video because you were, you just say you were unaware that I was about to use tarot cards and you're a religious person and this goes against who you are. You click on it, you see that, click off and go on about your business. You don't have to lash out and call me the devil. Mind you, that doesn't bother me. I'm fine with that too. It's like calling me a unicorn. I don't give a, I really don't care. You ain't ever seen the devil. You ain't ever seen a unicorn. It's all the same to me. So let's see trolling. What is the cause? Was I, was I off? Is it not unfulfillment? Is it brain damage? Is it some sort of childhood trauma? Is it loneliness? What is it? What is it? Because there's something. Nobody just wakes up one day and says, I'm going to be a jerk to everybody I can find unless something else is wrong. It's kind of the same with comedians who feel as though the only way to be funny is to tear other people down. So, Six of Cups. That's the childhood card. Three of Swords, Separation, Heartache, Betrayal, Your Past. This is why I say you need therapy. Therapy can help you flesh that out. You start the rating with the Nostalgia card, the Childhood card, and Betrayal, and Heartache, Heartbreak. You started with the past and emotional heartache. You are unfulfilled and you don't know it because you don't realize what it is you're doing to other people. You're just doing it because you get a kick out of it, but only momentarily. Therefore, you continue to behave that way. Now, the word of warning, if you want it from just me and not the tarot, is be careful about that because you may run across the wrong person on the right day. Because everybody is not the same when it comes to a troll. Some people know how to trace where you are and come find you. This is why you got to be careful about these kind of things. Now, justice, that's a card of balance. You are unbalanced. But that's at your base. Six of Swords. Painful transition. You need therapy. The Hangman. Your surrounding energy with your balance is stagnation. 
unbalanced, like I just said. Surrounding energy with your transition is the hermit. Searching for answers. This is my therapy card. You need therapy. Ain't nothing wrong with that. You ain't even got to tell nobody. Just go. If you think it's something shamed about being in analysis, then okay, I understand that. Because, you know, especially in the black community, this is just not something we did. But, because, you know, you go to church and all this kind of stuff. But there are people who go to school to learn how to preach the Bible. And there are other people who go to school to learn how to evaluate the human brain and their behavior. Therapy. The Hermit is my therapy card. You need therapy in your fear. Ace of Wands. The very idea. Because you, you feel as though when you are trolling that therapy is for crazy people. Now, everybody's crazy because everybody has this, this past. There's a hurt in it somewhere that probably lingered and manifested into some other kind of behavior that you just didn't realize because no one has set you down and analyzed your behavior. You do things the way you do things because of something. I said this before that we are pre-wired with personality traits. So there are things in us that are in us inherently. They're just in us. Like I love the color red, but I don't know why. They're just in us. But I, let's see, let me, let me, let me analyze myself. I do what? Not this. This is something else. I do... What do I do? Okay, I'll give you this one. I worked at a job once, and I had a manager that said something... Now, my job, I'm a sarcastic person. They said something that I didn't feel was sarcasm. I felt it was a way too snarky to be sarcastic. And I didn't want to be the person to be up there because I was the only black person up there. I want to be the one just cussing everybody out in the place, so I just walked off. I quit. I am a non-confrontational person. Therefore, instead of telling this person, I feel disrespected by what you just said, instead of confronting them, I just quit altogether. Now, mind you, it, did, it hurt them a little bit because, you know, I mean, everybody's replaceable, so they just hired somebody new. Now, I have no job. So that was more along of cutting off my nose to spite my face than it was a dig at him because he didn't give a damn. So why do I, because I've done this more than once. Why do I do that? Because I don't like confrontation. Why don't you like confrontation? That's the part you need to go to therapy and find out. Why do you troll? There's an idea go to therapy. There, there's a reason you feel annoying other people makes you feel better. Because it really doesn't. That's why I said you think that. Now, your environment. Death. Coincidentally, this person on this card has more trolls than anybody on Earth. So, Death is a major change in transition. Major change and not little change. Major change in transition. It's like if you went from summer to winter, from extreme hot to extreme cold, a major transition. That's what's going on right now. And the reason this is a major transition is because now with the way things are in this world, when I was a child, there was no such thing as the internet. In everybody's house. In everybody's hand. On everybody's watch. There was no such thing as that. 
in your car, on your television. So trolling a person was sort of relegated to being in an audience and yelling boo. I'm old, yes, believe it or not. So nowadays, all you have to do, point, click, type, and the trolling begins. You do a live stream, you're going to get a troll. They're going to come every time. Why? Because they have nothing else to do. They're not fulfilled. That's why both live streams I've had so far, I've had trolls each and every time. When Jin Lin did hers, she got a troll. They had, they just, they, on, on the YouTube page, there's all these different clips of things that are recommended to you by YouTube that you just may like based on shit that you watched in the past. You see me down at the bottom, you see a Jin Lin down at the bottom, you click on that and then you start to annoy everybody in the room. You passed up all this stuff that you enjoy watching. That's why I recommend it to you. But you came down here because it's live. There's a person that cannot get to me, yet I can get to them, type it and say something stupid, and then everybody gets mad, and then they kick me out of the room, and then I feel all vindicated because they all came against me. You need therapy. You child of the corn. You need therapy. Will of fortune, fate, destiny, turning, completion. That's what you feel. Yay, me. It's an empty win every time. The five of swords, win at all costs, it's an empty win every time. This is why you're constantly unfulfilled. And your word of warning is the will of fortune. Why is it the word of warning? Why is this warning you? Because what goes around will come around. Not just say something nasty on YouTube, YouTube bans you for three months and you come back or they suspend your account. All you need is a new email address and you can make you another one. Big whoop. But Karma is a bitch and she knows where you live. At some point, you're going to be out. God forbid you go on vacation and you're a place that you don't recognize. You're going to need someone's help. You're going to call out, but the gods of karma are going to be following you all the way throughout your trip. You're going to get to that place where you need some help. And she's going to step in. And she's going to say, hey, you need help? You're going to say, yeah. Well, too bad. Remember when? The will of fortune always turns. How you live your life is how it turns. It always comes back to you. It just changes shape each time. It transition, it morphs, there's a transformation. You may be in the middle of your vacation and you're in a place that you don't recognize and you reach out for help and then someone does not help you and then you're stuck or someone mugs you, that would be worse, there's an empty win for them. But your momentary annoyance of a room full of people who have nothing to do with you and all the stuff that is recommended to you your momentary annoyance of them will come back to you. That's why you need therapy. That's why it's not worth it. You're doing a test to get a job or to pass some sort of class. You need more time. The person's not going to give it to you. You get pulled over. You wish that you can just get a warning. It's not going to happen. These kinds of things are recorded in the energy of your life. You cannot escape them. They are inescapable. Because you put that out there, it has no choice but to come back to you. 
That's the whole point of doing good things because that comes back to you as well. So when you're out there and you see something and you say, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to click on this and act like an ass. If I were you, I wouldn't. Karma knows where you live, knows where you work, knows where you sleep, knows the forecast. The powers that be are a lot smarter than us. Therefore, what you should not do is become a troll.